Okay, Quen VL two and a half. I really like this Quen series. These are super nice VLM models with a good accuracy. They pretty compatible with some closed source models. They are working on edge devices. For example, you have like Quen VL two B and some little bit bigger models. It's super nice because you can run them like on rock chip, you can run them on Jetson with Olama and a lot of different stuff. For example, like AMD, Intel and so on. There are a lot of scripts for fine tuning. Even if some of them is not working, you just can take different one. But let's focus on the difference of today release because it, in my opinion, it's pretty interesting. The main difference is the detection. Uh, lately, detection starts to appear in LLM models. Uh, initially, all this detection it was more like with dictionary, like uh, all from Google or YOLO world, where you just uh, input word and ask like, find me all people in this image. They were pretty nice, but I have videos about their limitations. After that, there was a lot of more general models like Florence 2 from Microsoft and some different modern VLM models, small like Moonlight 2, for example. But accuracy was not so good. And it is a, this is the first time when top tier VLM model has this functionality with the detection. You can't find such functionality in ChatGPT or in Anthropic. Uh, if you will ask like, please provide me, they will write this output. Probably they will successfully output something, but usually it's just doesn't work. So Quantu is super nice, but I want to advise you from usage of Quen to in the real production with thousands of devices. Why? The first of all, of course, it's speed. You can train much smaller model, like classic convolutional model, maybe YOLA mod family model, maybe some other model. They will be much, much faster. The second problem is the complexity of export. Of course, you can run Quen model like on rock chips or Jetsons, but it's a terrible to run them on something more complex, like, for example, Halo, or even if you want to export your model on TensorRT, it will be super painful. Accuracy. The accuracy of Quen is much worse than the classic convolutional neural network trained on target domain. If you have like few thousand of images, just train your model and it will have much more accuracy than Quen. Fourth, complexity of fine tuning. Yes, formally you have this fine tuning, but to make it work, it's another terrible question. Yes, if you have super similar data set with the data set that someone used for fine tune, you are in good shape. But if you are working on a different problem, maybe existing scripts will not work. Five point. Unpredictable work in corner cases. In general, in my opinion, if your task is working with Quen good, just label your data set with Quen and train the smaller model. If you need to build something super fast, or if you build in some more complex prototype with robotics, where you need all these LLM capabilities, maybe Quen is a good solution. But if you just want to solve detection classification, uh, object estimation, um, some tracking, just use simpler models, please. And a few more samples where Quen is working and where not. So it's great for detection in simple environment, a few people in the uh, image and so on, but 
if you will input some images with a lot of objects, it stop working. Also, sometimes it doesn't work with accurate borders. Maybe it's because like mm, the work of transformers that perform on patches of images, but don't expect that it will be accurate uh, borders of your bounding box. And of course, sensors. Don't expect that it will, will work anyway. Of course, even ChatGPT doesn't do this, but you have some BS when ChatGPT will not answer you. But for Quen, it may be totally different cases. So, thank you for watching. Subscribe on this channel, my LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, so on, so on, so on. And hope I will see you in the next video.